Uh, very disappointing result, obviously. Um, you know, disappointingly kind of followed a little bit of a similar trend for us in terms of giving away an early goal and, and, and the disappointing one on a soft one, really, with a, the with a free kick. Um, ironically, we had a chance just before that where we maybe could have gone one up and look, you know, as, as we've seen in quite a few of the games this season, that can, that can kind of turn a game. But um, yeah, just disappointing. There's no way, no way of hiding that. You know, I don't think we did ourselves justice in that opening 20 minutes of that game. Kind of put ourselves behind, you know, two goals, and then it's kind of always going to be uphill. When you're playing against London Lions, they move the ball well, and you kind of you open up. Um, it kind of suits them. I thought we recovered quite well, um, you know, latter end of the first half, and, and into the second half we had some moments and we had a chance, and we had a header from a corner cleared off the line. And at that point, you kind of go in actually, if we can just grab a goal here, you know, we can maybe force the issue again for the last, you know, the last 20, 25 minutes of the game. Unfortunately, a pretty soft penalty I felt um, kind of ended that really. Um, but I was pleased the lads stuck at it. You know, we, we got a goal at the end ourselves, but, but it was not the outcome that we wanted. And you know, we'd, we'd been on a decent little run away from home, and so it was disappointing for us to um, to kind of give that up. Um, yeah, we, you know, we, we went into the game kind of, you know, we, had, we were confident, but we went through a few changes. We had a few injuries that hopefully we'll, we'll get a little bit of an update on this week um, in terms of what that looks like. But, but we have to do better. We have to put ourselves in positions in games to, to affect it better um, and not give to opposition goals and, and chances, which is what we did on, um, on Saturday. So, yeah, overwhelming, you know, overwhelming feeling from the game is, is that a disappointment. But we know that you know, there's no time for feeling sorry for ourselves. We'll prepare well for uh, the next game. Uh, yeah, so you know we've got probably four or five actually that are on the kind of the treatment table um, at the moment. So a few that missed out last Saturday. You know we're hopeful we might get one or two back ahead of the weekend, but you won't know until they've been assessed by uh, the physios tonight. Um, we've had we brought in uh, Mamadou Diallo from uh, Bulldog. He's a player that I've worked with uh, in the past and has got some good experience. Um, played at step four with Stockfold and, and Hadley. Um, you know, he's another young lad, um, you know, but a little bit more experience maybe in this league. He's got good physicality about it, gives us a bit more depth um, in the centre of the pitch. So, so we're really pleased to get, get him on board. It's one we've been working on for a little while. Um, so it's good to get him in. Uh, we're maybe working on adding a couple more. Um, you know, we've got seven days that we're hoping we might get moved before, before Saturday that potentially we might be able to come into the squad. Um, so we'll see on that. Uh, there might be some comings and goings maybe over the next week or two. Um, you know, we've had a good chance now to look at, look at players over a period of time. Um, and as I said previously in, in some of the conversations with Andy really, that, you know, that some lads might just not be quite ready for the level at this moment in time. And, and we might look to try and get them out maybe at some step six clubs or step seven clubs. Uh, to get some game time. So there'll be a little bit of movement now over the next couple of weeks. You know, we've, we've got Potton on Saturday, then we don't, we don't have another league game then for, I think, which three, week, three weeks really. Um, we've got a couple of cup games in between that. So th there'll be a little bit of movement, um, but in terms of heading into Saturday's game, we've got a few on the injury table that, you know, that we, need to, uh, we need to see how they progress for whether we'll know whether they'll be involved on Saturday or not. Yeah, so another tough, tough away game for us. Look, they've had a really good start to the season. Um, you know, plenty of goals in that team. You know, the number of players there who um, either we know from from my personal experience, or you know, who've been linked to the club. Um, so we know that they're going to have you know a lot of talent and a lot that going for them going forward. So we're going to need to be at our best. We're going to need to be better than we have been over the last couple of games in terms of how we defend and, and the chances that we that we give. So, so that we need to be more disciplined on and, and be more structured in terms of our defensive work. So there'll be a big focus on that. Um, but then look, we, we've got to be better ourselves on the ball and I think that we've got to be able to affect games better um, than we did on, did on Saturday. Um, but we look, we'll be looking forward to the challenge. You know, we, we've had plenty of games this season where um, you know, our performance levels have been good and we haven't quite got the results. You know, Saturday's about going there and, and trying to find a result. It's be, we know it's going to be tough, um, but, you know, we've played against teams where we've got, you know, been given no chance and, we, and we've gone and got something or put in really strong performances. So I fully expect us to do the same again on, on, on Saturday. Um, but, you know, we'll need to go and make sure the lads are prepared for it. And then those lads who cross the white line are going to need to go and put in a performance. And it's going to have to be better, as I said, than what we did last Saturday. Um, but really confident in terms of the group. You know, we're going to have a really good, strong session tonight. Um, you know, we'll prepare well for, for Potton. I'd say we know some of their threats um, and we know kind of how we want to go and approach that and how we deal with that. But we need to carry our own. Um, so we'll make sure we have a focus on that as well.